So, what is reverse engineering? Engineering, but backwards. Yeah. Uh, the way I like to look at it, I saw a really good, um, I should take out these books. I saw a really good um, description, I thought, really short, in my uh, algorithms book from undergrad. Um, which I brought for reference if everybody would like to take a look. I couldn't remember where in the book I saw this, uh, so it's definitely attributed to somebody else entirely, but, uh, but I, I thought I'd throw it up there. Algorithms and data structure equals programs. So what we're going to be going over here is how to identify some algorithms and how to identify some data structures within the assembly that you can then use to figure out, okay, what is this program doing? Um, there's also a, a certain amount of, uh, of art um, and or science to reverse engineering. Uh, you, there, you learn what you can about the architecture, about the, the assembly mnemonics, um, but when it comes down to it, especially when you're getting into the malware analysis side of things, um, and that's, that's where a lot of my uh, background comes from, so you're, you're going to hear me talking about that. Um, it, there's a certain amount of art to it because what you're looking at was designed by a human. Um, and with, with all of the baggage that they bring to it, um, just like designing a car, there's a certain amount of science to that, but there's also a certain amount of art to it. Think of programs like that. So, what kind of questions can can you answer with reverse engineering? Anybody have ideas on that? Anybody online? What it does. <laughs> what, what does? It. It. <laughs> yes. Which crypto algorithm are they using? Which crypto algorithm are they using? That's what I hear about. Okay. Are they using crypto? Well, Anybody else? Does the program contain any brutal memory corruption vulnerabilities in parsing of user input? Yes. That's a good question. Especially if you want to, say, look into exploits. Speaking of, there's a really good set of exploits classes that, that somebody teaches that uh, you should check out. <laughs> Okay, so here, here was a, a quick list I came up with. What's causing my program to crash or act differently than intended? Where does a particular observed or expected behavior happen in the program? So this is the, I think there's crypto here. Where does that happen? Um, anything, is there anything interesting? Um, you'd be surprised how many times in a SOC um, you get asked this question. Um, here's a file. Anything interesting going on here? Can you be more specific? No. Uh, what does it do? Uh, how do I get it to run? That's a, that's a good one. Uh, happens. Oh yeah, what happens to my user input, file input, network input? Um, either in terms of how is it getting uh, munged, obfuscated, used, or in terms of can I exploit this? Um, how do I, the more generic form of, of how do I get it to run, how do I get this program to do X? How can I use parts of this program in my own program? And if you're doing development and you have a um, library that doesn't have very good documentation, um, can I make this more efficient? Are you, are you developing and you have um, 
what you believe to, to have coded it efficiently, but when it gets down to the actual assembly, is there anything more you can add to the um, speed of it, uh, memory usage of it? So, all these things, all the things.